Sterling, thank you. We'll see you in a few minutes. Across the Wasatch Front, cities are now preparing to celebrate the 4th of July. Yeah, with the threat of wildfire, will cities actually shoot off fireworks this year? Emma Riley live in Sandy tonight with how that city's planning to observe the holiday. Emma? Because of fire danger last year, Salt Lake City traded their fireworks show for a laser show. This year, they're planning to do the same. I spoke to some other cities. Sandy tells me they're sticking to their traditional fireworks show, but they are taking some wildfire safety precautions across the, across the city. The Sandy City Parks Department has been mowing what they call fire breaks along property lines that border the city's parks, keeping the grass and weeds down in case of a fire started by fireworks. It will reduce that spread of fire, the time frame that a fire can spread, allowing our resources to deploy and, and try to and extinguish those fires uh, quicker. While some cities like Salt Lake are picking lasers over fireworks, the Sandy Fire Department says they are prepared to deal with the fire threat. One of the reasons that we can uh, manage that is because we bring on extra staff for that night. It's in a controlled area. It's not in a restricted zone. Susan Wismer lives in Cottonwood Heights. She tells me she wasn't surprised to see all of these signs around the city. She says she witnessed a fire during a fireworks show a couple of years ago. I know it's dry, but I was a little surprised that there's it's prevent it's not allowed in so many places because I thought we'd had enough moisture, but it's quite the opposite. Bassett says the amount of snow and rain this year is causing more growth, resulting in an increased fire risk. We do have more cheatgrass than what I think of what we've had before, and it is drying out very quickly. So we are going to have probably a little bit more of a hazard uh, this year. And if you are unsure if shooting off fireworks is illegal or not in your area, you can check the state fire marshal's website. Reporting live in Sandy, Emma Riley, KUTV 2 News.